I've been a foster carer for 20, over 20 odd years. Um, I look after a young man, Robert. He's one of the three that I foster. Um, he has a learning disability. He's a lovely young man. Um, he came to us when he was three. He's 16 now and um, he has autism and, and with a learning disability as well, overlapping. So sometimes it can be quite complex, but it's an absolute treasure to look after. Um, he's, he calls me Mammy. He's a, um, a real member of our family. I first found out about the Blue Badge Scheme when uh, Robert's social worker suggested that that's what we should have for him. It's invaluable for Robert, it's, it's brilliant. Uh, we're able to park up quite close to a store. Some of the problems for Robert is that people don't see is that he might not want to get in the car and he might not want to get in, out of the car. He doesn't really understand the reasons why. Um, so that can be quite difficult. I think um, some people can be quite judgmental. Um, they don't really have an understanding of the nature of Robert's disability. And if they see you walking out of the car, they sometimes give you a strange look as to, well, you know, the impression I get is that they feel that you are not entitled to have the blue badge. And um, I think that if they understand, if they understood the nature of um, Robert's disability, because he can present himself quite able-bodied, um, they would have more of an understanding, I'm sure. For Robert and for myself, um, we have found the blue badge um, fantastic. Um, it's improved our quality of life. Um, it's made us being able to access things that we probably wouldn't access and to know that I am going to be able to park quite close to where I need to be. Yeah. For other people that are in a similar situation, I would say yes, definitely try for the blue badge and see if you are eligible for it.